Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here, back with some more of our Road to the League with Wrexham. And we have ourselves the start of the season. Taking on Tottenham and West Ham. So without further ado, let's get right into this. I'm ready. I'm always ready. Let's do this. I'm feeling good. We can set the tone against Tottenham. We had a pretty good preseason, but again, we didn't really play a whole lot. I mean, our hardest game was probably, was actually probably Iron. Uh, we went ahead and tied Norwich. We won everything else, including against United, Chelsea, and Newcastle. So we'll see what we can do against Tottenham here. This is going to be our starting lineup with uh, Kukulia on the left, uh, Evan Faraday on the right, with Selkic and Savatori in the middle. That is because... Carlos, uh, actually, Thiago is on international duty. Morning is going to be playing the DM because Carlos Alberto is on international duty. We have a couple injuries with Aldo Rodriguez. That's why Levin Verde is playing on the right side. And Lyle Reynolds is not a sub in here. Mateo Gabia is also failed his fitness test. With Horney being the DM, we're going to have Canalita on the left and Arda as the attacking mid on the right. Cepedo been on the left side, still kind of learned this attacking, uh, left attacking midfielder. Ender will be on the right with Caputo up top. On the bench, Brahim Diaz. Lovro, Sundarnik. Montanez. We're going to have Gullen back as an active sub at this point. Uh, Matamala is going to get some time. Luis Ardini. Coming back off loan. I think he did pretty well off loan. Whoops. Uh, Olivia Rios, Marine, Valentin, and Rodrigo Perez, who's getting a bid right now. A loan bid. He will likely be on here as a last case, but I don't think he'll be playing. Mateo Gabio will be taking that. So that's kind of our lineup. We go balanced. We're going to play this 4 3 3, and let's see what we can do against Tottenham. I'm ready. Okay, we'll see how this works. They're going to come at us with, with a lot, actually. I don't think we need to increase our defending duties. I think we'll just go balance on the outside. We'll see what he can get. Can we beat Tottenham? That is the question. Hopeful for a strong sight. I mean, he... I mean, can't miss him all that much. He's on international duty. I'm not going to say that the man's running out on the team. He's playing the Olympics, I think, so... Or, actually, he's playing in Copa Americana. Okay, let's go comprehensive or extended actually. Highlights for this and see what we can get going here. We had the first try at around 15 minutes. Doogie to Danilo. Danilo is going to be closed down, but not before he actually is able to pass it. We do take the ball back and then we give it right back to Tottenham. Selkick. A okay, good stop there. Alita, get the ball around. You don't have to force it. I don't know what we're doing there. We don't need to force that. There it is. Levin Verde is not going to be there. It looks like the uh, sun got a little less brighter. So let's brighten this up a little bit. Encourage the boys. Oh, and Cepeda loses it. It might be a Brahim Diaz substitute there. As Donalo puts that way over the net. Cristiano, Garbani. Aldo Fernandez going out to Morgan. We're closing that down. 
little heel pass there. Pitchford is going to try to dink the keeper. That's wide left. Would have worked if it was on target, probably. There's Cepeda. He's picked up a knock. Looking for the cross. It's there. Ender's going to have the header. Let's see what that knock is. It's a groin injury. Let's get him out. Let's put in Brahim Diaz. Actually, we'll get Montanez in. The last thing we want is Cepeda to be out long term. We'll do that change. Okay. A tie is not great. I mean, Tottenham is a top seven team in the league, though, so maybe a tie is a good step in the right direction. There we go. Force them to go all the way back, but they have an easy passing outlet. Okay, we closed that, that shot. This still makes me nervous. Okay, let's make one other sub. Salvatore has this yellow card, so I'm going to put in... Kelly on the middle. We're going to put... Valentino on the left. Morning's about to pick up a card here. Okay, let's put wing back there. Anyone else having any issues? Caputo is up top, so let's put Montanez up top. Let's get Raheem Diaz in. Let's see if that kind of fixes any of the deficiencies. Actually, let's not do that right now. Warning, he's going to get that card. Excellent, he just got a warning. I'm going to demand more from the boys. There we go. Good pass back. We don't have to force it. There we go. There we go. And Caputo into the net. I think he's on side there. It's going to be close. That little back and forth around the 18 here was great. It's going to be awarded. Let's watch that. We're doing a new angle from here because I want to see. This can't lead a give and go to Arda. To Ender, he's onside. Can we hold it? Oh, God. Montanez, don't scare me like that. Okay, good block. Good block. Montanez is going to win it. Only is going to play it over the top. Caputo has space. Thinks over the keeper, but the doggy gets there to clear it off the line. Okay, so let's make a couple of changes. Uh, let's get Raheem Diaz. Actually, let's get Raheem Diaz. 
back here. There we go. Do that. And then here, Horning, let's get... Bertani, maybe? Yeah, let's get Bertani there, and it'll be the changes. Actually, we could do this. No. Okay, let's do this. Let's have both of them as wing backs and support now. Let's do that. Let me hold this as best as we can. We've held Tottenham to only nine shots, two on target. Okay, let's go. Good ball up top. Caputo's there on the outside. Raheem Diaz misses a wide right. Would have been blocked if it was on target, maybe, but who knows? It could have went in. Could have been a 2-0. But instead, this makes me nervous here. Oh my gosh, do not allow that header to come back. Or head it back there. Be smart. There we go. That's a good win. That is a good win against Tottenham. Now we started with a big, big start in last year in the first five to five to 10 games. And that really propelled us last year, but we couldn't bring that into the following weeks going into like October, November time frame is when it started falling off and we couldn't get it. So is going to be out four to six days. That's nothing crazy like, like I thought. That's why we brought him out. So he wouldn't get a particularly bad injury. But he's going to be out for this West Ham game. All right. So we got to do make a couple of changes. You see here West Ham is playing a 4-2-3-1. We got Carlos Alberto back. Thiago was going to play here, but he is just not fit. He needs to rest. He play. He was actually on the Olympic uh, Dream Team, so he's been playing well. And Aldo Rodriguez is going to be back in the lineup coming off of injury, although we will likely have to sub him in probably about the 45th to the 60th minutes. Other than that, we're the same everywhere else. Couple of bench changes. Hornings on the bench now since Carlos Alberto is on here. And then we had one injury to Gullum back. We had to pull him out. That keeps Levin Verde and also uh, pulls Olivia Rios in now with that uh, fitness issue with Diago. But otherwise, let's get right into this. I'm ready. You're ready. West Ham. We can win this game. That's that's the second or third year in a row we go 2-0 to start the season. Right here in our whites. Uh, Cepeda does have that knock a little bit from last 
uh, episode but it's not too bad that knock so he's able to uh, kind of just play through it he's on a 45 to 60 minute uh, watch play time we'll see how he looks after about 45 to 50 minutes Cepeda here looking looking for the pass okay that's a good one able to stay with it Rodriguez is going to win it and their turn shot it's blocked by Oscar I like the edge that we're showing right now now Rodriguez won't likely last the entire game with that uh, sharpness but we'll see how long he lasts in this he might last a good majority of the game but he's gonna have to be subbed out probably about the 60 the 65th minute i would guess give boys some words of encouragement west ham's not doing anything and we have 66 percent let's go a little bit positive here we're just controlling this game that one's in the air salvatore with the header and uh, Polinia makes a great save for West Ham. We were actually thinking about bringing him in, but we went with Henderson. As that's actually missed, and luckily, it is actually kicked out of bounds. Caputo's going to take this. And that one's off the post. Gabriel Jesus does actually clear it, but that was probably the best chance that we've had the first part of this game so far. Selkis going to take the throw in, moving it about. Salvatore, Carlos Alberto moving around. I like the movement of the ball. Alito plays it up. That's up to Ender. He has a step, takes a shot. Pasolina easily able to corral that one. It's not the crispest or nicest shot by any means. He's a little bit more power there. Arda is going to take this one. Curves it in, and Selkick just can't put it in the back of the net. We brought Arda in to do those passes, and that was a great one. Cepeda looking, he's going to cross it, and the keeper's going to miss it. Ender back post taps it in, and that is a Wrexham goal against West Ham. What was the keeper looking? He just straight missed that ball. Let's take a look at that. Maybe he just didn't get enough of it. Maybe he was fooled. I don't know. But Ender, newcomer in his second game for Wrexham, getting his first goal. Arda just had a great touch there. That's not a great pass, but Cepeda tries to play it up. That was a good thought to Julian in there. Okay. Controlling the ball. Salvatore, Selkic. Canalita back to Selkic. Okay, we have good movements here. So Pedro, that was a good run. And as a good service ball to Caputo. Yes, space takes a shot and it's saved. Tolinia. Great one there. Yes, the is gonna come out at the half. We're gonna put in Brahim Diaz, I think. Or no, we're going to put in Montanez. Alberto just had to take that touch and slow down. Didn't help matters. Just going out the stamp. We can move towards the outsides. Cut down. Up to Jesus. And that is blocked. A little bit of blocking there. I think that was Salvatore that got in front of that shot. Ruben Neves puts it in and we're still having uh, just a graphical issue here down the bottom. It's saved or actually it's missed. There we go. Graphical error is fixed. I'm thinking maybe Rodriguez comes out at the half as well. And that is cleared off the line by Aldo Rodriguez. Front post. Hit. Actually, he opened some. 
Let's do that with Cepeda. Let's bring in Montanez from the left. And Aldo Rodriguez. Let's keep him in for just a little bit. And Cepeda is pleased. I mean, he had that one cross that could go in a goal back post to Ender. So he did do some work. So it's not like he didn't do anything. It's just the man's exhausted. Say like probably here we'd have that sub. We're gonna both take Carlos Alberto out. We're gonna put Horning in, and Aldo Rodriguez is gonna come out. We'll put in Lavanerde in there. Come on. Good bit of blocking here. Arda sees the push by Caputo. Caputo can't, doesn't have an angle, tries to cross it. I think he just overran it, maybe. Ah, uh, that's just not paying attention there. Good stab under Caputo. Montanez making some good stuff, and it's actually over. The keeper dinks it over. What? A bit of goalkeeping. What a bit of goalkeeping. Love to see it. What a bit of goalkeeping that allows us to score. Now, I don't like to see that when, when, it, when it's on our side. But I love to see that when it's on their side. Okay. 2-0. I think we're going to make our last subs. I mean, I guess we have to. We'll make it more so at the 70th minute. Garte looking. Goes out wide. Teresio. Diaby looking. Good cross in the middle. Live, live and there they actually was able to disrupt that enough for the shot to miss. Alright, hit 70th minute. Oakle's going to come out. We're going to put Olivia Rios, I think, in the middle. How tall is he? 6'4", he can play that. We're getting Lavin Verde on the left here. And our other one, let's get... Get Matamala in... On the right side. This is... Take Caputo out, I think. But oh, we can't make any more substitutions. Okay, I'm fine with this. Oh, Salvatore stayed in. Hold on. Oh, there's five. I just can't count. Yeah, we had to keep Salvatore in just because, I guess. Okay, good stab by Montanez. Went back. Galante, Rios. Nolita to Arda. Arda, good ball up. There's Caputo. Caputo going to take a shot. It's going to be blocked just wide. Just going to enough of a hand on it. Wow, United is beating up Wolves 5-0. Good cross in. That's going to be denied. And Rios is going to be denied there. Now it's technically a 2-1-2 two -two here. We do get back in time to reconstitute the defense. So that's exactly what we want on the corner. We don't want to be hit by the counterattack. That one is deflected. Pick up the Daibi and Daibi actually has his pass deflected. We've had good bit of front post security on corners. 
We get the free kick. Sola actually pushed Rios. I thought Rios was the aggressor there. A 2.47 XG against West Ham. We spent some money this past offseason and this past summer transfer window. It's paid off in these first two games. Really paid off these past two games. A little bit there. About a minute and a half left. We're controlling the ball. Melita is trying to get that off to Volante or maybe Montanez. There we go. Puto loses it out of possession. The ball up. Dybi has a man in the middle, takes a touch, and Rios this time clears it off the line for us. We're looking like another clean sheet if we can hold it. Henderson punches it out. Shot on goal is way too high. Okay. About 15, 20 seconds left. See if Henderson can waste the majority of this. He will until the ref actually forced him to take the kick. We hit 94 minutes. And he's going to play it close to his chest, and that'll be the end of this day here. Let's go. Big one here. Salvatore is playing great. I mean... We're playing decent. Lita just needs to play better the issue I don't think he's playing bad by any means I may need one to be an advanced playmaker and I need the other one to be the attacking mid maybe that is the key Nice victory, boys. I liked it. Nice victory. We're vaccinated the game plan so far, which is win goals. Win through goals. Defense has been great. Defense has been great as well. But we need to win through goals. We've been scoring, scoring more scoring so two wins to start the year that's nice it's only two games one of them against a top team in the table last season what that looks like for us competition wise is where were those guys supposed to be in the season preview so Tottenham was supposed to be sixth we beat Tottenham and then we just played West Ham. We're supposed to be mid-table where we are. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense in the grand scheme of things. Uh, we're about a team that should be floating around ninth. They're probably sixth at this point either. I don't think we have any business. Or ninth to seventh. Or maybe seventh to tenth. I don't think we have any business maybe competing up where Liverpool, Man City, and Arsenal are. Maybe Chelsea. Newcastle's probably still a stretch, so I think we need to get up in 6th or 7th and get us into a position. Get some European football. Each if it's conference, have some runs in that and see if we can get ourselves some better players. And I think we're doing on a good job right now getting it. So Aldo Rodriguez... Is a good player with he's almost to close to full potential. He will likely be probably a leading player at this level. Mark is a good Premier Division player. But actually is helping. Earlier is means they say slightly he's probably good or higher. I mean the man looks actually pretty good. Kenalita is a world-class player, so he's going to get there eventually. 
to a higher bit. So maybe Gullier is a world class player as well. Silent looks like a good player, probably will get a little bit better. So the man's physicals of a carry him, which is nice to see. I think Cepeda's up there as well. Yeah. He could improve slightly, but the man just needs to play better. Uh, Caputo is a good Premier League player. He's at max potential. Maybe he'll go a little bit higher and everything, but what kind of gets me this is finishing. His heading, even at 5'7, his jumping reach isn't the greatest, but the man somehow does win headers and. Hey, he does score him being off the ball, good flair, good determination, decisions, composure. Scores a lot of goals. He's got almost a goal every two games, just about. I mean, that's that's good. We need it higher. We'll see if he can stack anything else. When it comes to competitions and, and the schedule, so I'm going to play... United and Newcastle between episodes. We'll be back with the Carabao Cup. We'll see who we end up playing and we're going to play Everton for that before I think we go into the September window, which is, I believe, a European international group where we play Norway, Germany, and Portugal in that one. So, uh, yeah, that that is going to be a dangerous group, and I don't think we're going to escape out of that. So, yeah, that's going to be difficult. So that's going to be it for today's episode. Tomorrow, Carabao Cup. We have to figure out what we're doing. We have to win that. We need to win one of these cups. I think we have a better chance of winning the Carabao Cup, which is what I hope we can do. So. Thank you all for joining me. Leave a like below, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Later.